Okay. Let's see. It's weekend ready for Christmas. Are you? What are you doing for Christmas? You know what? I'm not doing nothing for Christmas. I'm not even gonna sit here in front to you though. I've been out and about like I like ain't no pandemic going on. I've been wide open. Yeah. I've been at the bars. I'm, I know y'all don't 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 chat. We're not judging you. We be at the bars too. We be I've been working. at the drag shows. <laughs> wait, he no, the wait. <laughs> he put wait. his mask on. <laughs> you been I've been sanitizing though. I've been sanitizing. You've been okay. your hands. I've been washing my hands. Social distancing. I've been spraying robot testing and sanitizing down my throat. <laughs> Burning your hair, oh. clean, burning my hair, okay? <laughs> you know, I, I actually do this for real. I actually wipe down with alcohol after I take a shower. Mm -hmm. so, I know this bad probably, but... And then you wash your hands for, like, how long? About 86. <laughs> <laughs> About 86. I think, you know, just start, like, a good 86. It's not too long. You know, about 86. Ooh, you buying Christmas gifts? I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm bad at Christmas. I'm bad at Christmas. I'm bad at Christmas. Christmas had Christmas. I did nothing to you. Christmas had did something to me. I ain't, I'm not married, uh, you know, off the market yet. You're not off the market? Yes, I don't like this time well, of the year. Cause you need to slow down so you and Ava can go on the date. <laughs> Y'all go on y'all dinner day. Well, see, and then the other thing is, you know, Ava works a lot. And then our schedules, you know, be kind of conflicted a little bit. And stuff, but Try, you the, the, there you go. You, you if you don't want to be bothered with it, just tell you don't want to be bothered with it. But don't go making up no excuses. Look, trying to find like excuses. Look, just to, just like a dude. Somebody she be busy. She work a but lot. But she do work a lot. Okay. No, she do. But she don't work twenty four seven. No, she don't work twenty four seven. But we was actually supposed to have went out. Oh, we was actually had supposed yes. to went out. Well, but we actually had supposed to know y'all supposed but to I, out. But I had got injured and I slipped in the shower. Like literally, you no, know, I'm clumsy. I promise you, I slipped in the shower. That was so hey, long ago. <laughs> that was so long ago. You'd have been to the hospital again since you slipped in the shower, child. Oh, you down here telling my business. So in between you slipping in the shower and the last time you went to the hospital, you could have went out to Ava. Let me call yeah. myself. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Yes, honey, because you be coming up with excuses, honey. I ain't got ain't no excuse. Mm -hmm. Ava, Ava no, she got my number. She got all my contact information. Well, you the one that said call she be working me. a lot, honey. You call her. No, I'm a, I look, I'm telling you, I'm going a, I'm to a make I like to do things right. If I can, if I got a half ass through it, then because mm -mm. yeah, I want to see y'all together. Because I could just picture that, honey. Y'all gonna be giving Star and Al. <laughs> Not star L. <laughs> well, you know they say the skinny men love the big women. That's what I heard. But, but I, well, you the skinny man. You let us know. Do the skinny men love the big women? Are the, the skinny, skinny, uh, the skinny the rainbow fish love the big women? <laughs> I'm only a rainbow fish two days out the week. Okay. Oh. Oh. The, the rest, I'm full masculine. Don't I look masculine today? Uh, you look nice. You always look nice. You a handsome young man, child. Well, thank you. Yes, everybody always compliment you on your look, <clears throat> how you look good. You know, you look nice and you dress nice. You know, it's my it's my grandmother instilled it in me. You know, she whooped my ass enough, so mm. you know. Baby, because you came Present in today, time. I thought you. I say, Ooh, who is this coming here? This Barack sister? <laughs> Why I gotta be Barack sister? Why can I be his? Because you rainbow fish. <laughs> I don't know no man that's gonna say he rainbow fish. Want us to call him his brother? <laughs> but you know, I know you, and I know your personality, and, yes. and I know Ava, and I know her personality. I think y'all be y'all be y'all. Yes, because we both are goofy. Have fun. And we both are goofy. I will y'all say that. Fun. No, y'all just a both Y'all are both intelligent people. Yes. Because Ava is a very intelligent young lady, honey. And I and she has a good heart. I will say that she has a very good heart. I've I've you know That's she so has true. helped me through some she has helped me been encouragement to me through some hard times, I will say. She like you, she like you. She now nah, I'm gonna say she like you like you know something like she's mm -hmm. a stalker or something like that. But she's interested. Right. She is interested in, you know, going out with you because she said that the conversation that you all have had, you are very interesting to her. And yeah. she would like to go out and just, you know, experience your company. Yes. And I definitely I definitely feel the same way. And she knows off, off record she knows as far as the situation and everything or why I've been a little delayed but she knows I'm going to get it together mm -hmm. she knows you I know. feel like Iala Van Zandt I'm trying to help y'all fix this relationship <laughs> 
Well, that's, you know, it's nothing but a friendship. It's nothing but a friendship. I think y'all would be great friends to each other if nothing yeah. more comes out of it. And then also, you know, because I I have had I've been around plenty of trans women. I think the other thing is that knowing my history, I don't want to you know be that guy that is known in the trans community. Mm-hmm. You know, as as you know old child him you know i don't want to be that person because you know (laughs) i'm just saying because you know i've I've had some run-ins and and you know i was just like okay let me just you know dial it back a little bit because i don't want to have that kind of reputation you know i don't want to be that that guy in 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 that circle you are who you are (laughs) you can't run from who you are if that's who you are just like y'all to tell him honey (laughs) Own up to who you are. If that's who you are, so what? <laughs> Embrace it. Well, you know, I've I've had to learn that that wrong wasn't built in a day, and it's Wait, okay you, to, to take your time. I've uh, I've you, had to learn. You that. are who you are, and embrace who you are. And anybody else that have a problem with you <laughs> being that dude. You know that you know every time. So what? What everybody else care about? <laughs> All you care about is what you and Ava discuss. Right. If it's you and Ava, all you care about is you and Ava. If it's you and somebody else, all you care about is what that other person says and what you say. Well, what they say to you and everybody. everybody else is just noise. That's true. That's true. And I don't know why I'm sitting here single because I got all this information <laughs> now. I done grew, I done lived, I done grew, and I'm ready. And I'm ready. But and you know I, what? You ain't settling though. I think this thing you don't, you know your value. You don't, you're not just gonna settle for anything. So I think you know that's why. But right about now, I'm like Melanie Camacho, the comedian <laughs> Melanie. <Camacho. laughs> she said, "Y'all talking about ain't no good men left in the world." I just stepped over all kind of oh, good men wait, ran down I, town. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stand is too high. Please go down there and pick that man up downtown. Take him home, put him in the shower, and get him a haircut, honey. You, well, you know, all over your man, honey. Pe- people standards are said high. People want somebody that lives, you know, in these gated communities with, you know, eight hundred credit score. Oh, that will. You know, come. six figure income, all of that, mm-hmm. and then be treating them, you know, throwing them out out the window and up against the wall and stuff and across the bedroom i know i've been i've been that i've been that guy okay i, I used to get seen him thrown oh. from east coast to west coast oh so you you so you weren't always uh rainbow fish uh, uh, i wasn't You've been always a jackrabbit i've been a jackrabbit i'm telling y'all that's why i've been trying to tell you you better you better ask somebody tristan in his 20s was a a, a pistol in the petticoat that's my grandma said <laughs> <laughs> a what? A pistol in a petticoat. <laughs> That's what she oh said. A pistol in a petticoat. Oh, we're gonna take a break, honey. We're gonna take a break, <laughs> then we'll come back and we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about uh Jeremiah. Okay. Well he done did. He was in the hospital. Remember he was in the hospital with COVID? And they thought he Jeremiah the singer? Lord. I've been <laughs> No J- Jeremiah the bullfrog. <laughs> I'm your girl, Miss Sophia. <laughs> Hold it down right here. We are you ready, yo? We are you ready, yo? We're the home of the urban sound of pride. I'm not fooling with you. Baby. Talking about Jeremiah in the Bible. You oh. know him. We are the home of the urban sound of pride, baby. Yes, ma, we are. Oh, y'all heard Mr. Six Feet Eight. He's been in here cutting up already. And also, my daughter is here, honey. My daughter is here. Is she at the door? Uh, come on in. Decide and let her in. She, she lay. She lay. It is 419. <laughs> Honey, close that door, child. She I have business to take care. Of you got what? Business to take well, care. Well, you should have took care of business earlier. And I'm girl, I can't help it when they try to do fraud. Come on, sit over care. here. You go and sit over there. I don't want that. Girl, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Chevelle Brooks running late, y'all. But I'm so glad that she's here. Portia's here. My daughter Portia should Hey, Portia. Hey, everybody. Talking to Mike. Hey everybody! You gotta get on it like that. Bag on up. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, you you're not fine. Don't give us the standard answer. Oh, I'm gonna ask you again. How you doing? I'm a little under the weather. Savannah, get that mic. Get that mic right there. Trish been talking it. all day, honey. We gonna y'all share that mic. Oh, okay. I forgot we ain't have a one mic. Girl, you gonna keep your mask on? Girl, I don't know. Y'all been tested in here. Get good. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all been tested in here. I yeah, should be I, the one concerned. I'm the one pregnant with y'all. No, you been pregnant with y'all for a long time. That baby about right. <laughs> I thought my water broke the other week, but I went to the doctor. He said, "Girl, get out of here. You just peed on yourself." <laughs> 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 you let a little pee off. <laughs> yes, honey. But uh, hey, girl, y'all.
Yes, ma'am. So tell everybody about the Boom Boom Room. The Boom Boom Room, we um we present a lot of stuff in the Boom Boom Room. We do shows on um, my Facebook page and on my YouTube channel, Chevelle Brooks 75. But right now we are doing our point of view, which is a talk show. We talk about hot topics. Uh, LGBT culture, all kind of stuff like this. So this is our season finale here in Atlanta. Oh, okay, the season finale is here in Atlanta. Yes, yes, that is Chevelle Boom Boom Brooks. She's a former Miss USA, a former Miss Continental, a former Miss. Uh, tell them your titles, girl. I don't know. Uh, former Miss Continental Plus, Miss Universal Latina Plus, International um, Show, show queen. Universal Show Queen. Mm. Um, I got a lot of titles, child. Yes, I'm Miss Universal yes. Show Queen right now, and I'm also Goddess International right now. Okay, and you say what, Latino? Universal Latina. Girl, you done went over there and took the Mexican smash. Yeah, child. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know I had one. <laughs> oh, they said the one in Spanish. Girl, the whole page was in Spanish. I like you guys said it's not in the back. Put it in your head. And I'm standing there. And they said, Señorita, señorita, you, you. They tapped me on my shoulder. You won. I said, oh, I did. Oh, child, thank you. <laughs> and Sasha Valentino was in the pageant too, and she said, Girl, they're not gonna cry on both of us. <laughs> <laughs> and Portia, you are the reigning diva. That's uh, my daughter. That's my daughter. Hey, you here and you are. I'm still for... Miss Transsexual USA. You still Miss Transsexual USA? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Why is that on that rocket? Be still. <laughs> well, you know my nerves. <laughs> What's your nerves? And what's your nerves yeah. doing? I don't know, they jumping all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Shavella came in here and your nerves and got bad because you want She your nerves named all them titles, Shine. She named all them titles. My nerves got real bad. Girl, it's all oh. right. Cause she named one of them that you want, Ooh, yeah. and then they give it to you <laughs> two years in a row. She gonna get it though, girl. She said she not going back to USA. Yes, I am. You are? Yeah. I thought you said you weren't going back. The pandemic gave me enough time to sit down. <laughs> 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 the, <laughs> the pandemic gave me enough time to sit down and get over some stuff. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. you said you was going to Carmel this year. This go around. You going this year? I'm a, no, this year's over with. No. They you come talking about 2021. Yes. If they come up with a cure for uh, COVID. Well, you brought your ass to Atlanta and they ain't had no cure for COVID. I, I, I didn't enter no pageant. You down here sniffing and sneezing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if I wouldn't have had to travel around the world. Yeah. But what? Around the world. Chavelle, you weren't here. You weren't here early. She's about. She's about. I said, girl, you got a little talk to me. Girl, you can't get no normal cold no more. <laughs> No. <laughs> Say no, that ain't normal no more. <laughs> no, ma'am, you got a cough in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell them the story about you flying here on the plane, girl. Yeah, on that flight, I have my, my face mask on uh -huh. and my shield. Uh -huh. And on the inside of my face mask, I had some um, tissue rolled up in my face. Mask. <laughs> girl, you just can't breathe. Because I knew I was going to be coughing. Mm -hmm. So, but I said, the flight was full. They say the only seats that's available are the middle seats. So turn right next to you. Whenever you see the middle seat, sit down. <laughs> Girl, it was an older white lady sitting on this side. I mean, an older black lady on this side and an older white man on the opposite <laughs> side. And here I go sitting down in the middle. I had already made up in my mind. I'm just not going to look to the side. <laughs> Baby, I know that's Baby, true. when it took off <laughs> and they had got that first <laughs> I didn't even look. I just kept on looking straight ahead. <laughs> looking down. Just like, well, nothing I could do because you can't even get a call now. No, I man. Mean, you see, my OCD would have been acting up. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you right now. If I didn't know who she was, I did. Hold on, talk on that mic over there. Can y'all share that mic? No, I was saying my OCD would have been acting up. Let me tell you. Now, I told everybody, during the pandemic, if you get an Uber or Lyft and they are driving slow, all you got to do is... Once you do that... Bitch, you gonna be there in a matter of seconds. <laughs> they gonna get you out of there. And they run the red oh lights God. and stop signs and everything. Yeah, they try to get you out And then some of them they don't have no shame. Like, the, you say, <laughs> they say, they let that woman go. Yes, ma'am. The woman come down. Baby, it's cold. Let that up. Girl, they start spraying. <laughs> Everything. Oh, I couldn't feel bad because at work if they sneeze, I'll be I'm behind a shield and I'll be looking at them like that. Mm -hmm. So I understand, I get it. But everybody ain't got COVID that's sneezing and coughing. People I, still get colds and 
They still sneeze. The weather changed up on us the other night. The allergies. Allergies. Mm -hmm. But just because of COVID right now, people look at you like you, baby. <laughs> I know that, that woman, I know she talked about me all when she got in that car with her people. I know she talked, because I seen her, you know how you can see her, the body moving like, oh, I just, and I said, she was like, I just kept staying like this here with my eyes shut. That would eat. I was going to wear them out all the way to the living room. But wait, did they even... Did they even say anything about sneezing with COVID? <laughs> mm. they say, yeah, they say you be coughing, headaches, fever, sneezing, and we're going to go to break and we're going to come back. But I tell everybody, I said, baby, listen, before COVID, before COVID. But I was going to say, who is Kobe? Kobe. <laughs> I was going to miss Kobe and yeah, Kobe. Kobe and Kobe. I was missing the game. I said, before COVID, I was sneezing. Farting, yeah, ma'am. Coughing, and everything else. Mm -hmm. I said during COVID, I'm gonna sneeze, fart, and cough. <laughs> I said after COVID, I'm gonna still be sneezing, coughing, and farting, and every night then I may even shit. Oh, you can We're so pure yeah. all the time. Right here, we are your radio. We are your radio. We are the home of the urban style of pride. And everybody that sneezing is not. Don't have COVID. Don't have COVID. Okay. It's COVID. COVID, COVID 19. Yes, COVID 19. Everybody COVID. got COVID. What is it? COVID. COVID. C O V I D. No, that's called it's, Anisha. It's coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus. 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 Whatever they want to say. Look here. I don't have no fever. My eyes don't hurt none of that. You don't? Uh -uh. Your eyes don't? Uh -uh. You sure? <laughs> I'm positive. You see? Because why you laughing? Because <laughs> you keep asking her she's sure. Like she going to change her mind. Uh-oh. The, what the lashes bother you in the back? <laughs> the, that's normal. She that's a normal. Red eye for the straight guy. <laughs> oh, man. Look, Chris the Moo girl. He the Moo. <laughs> <laughs> he like, he like, ooh. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to need prayer. We're going to have her in here sneeze. <laughs> We're going to need prayer. Everybody close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Girl, Miss Sophia, hold it down right here. We are your radio. We are your radio. We're the home of the urban sound of pride. Lord, we're coming to you right now, asking you to heal a portion of this cough and this sneeze while she in this oh, little bit of room with it. us. Ooh. We ain't did that to her, honey. <laughs> Not I just thing. want you to bless her, <laughs> to bless her, <laughs> to bless her, mm -hmm. to bless her. Mm -hmm. to bless her. Yeah. Stop sneezing. Yeah. I know every time somebody sneezes, we're supposed to say bless you, but no, Lord, if she sneezes, <laughs> we want you to bless us. <laughs> Bless us. Bless us. I want to dedicate this song to my daughter, Portia Shakay Paris. I don't care what they say on that plane. I don't care what we say in this studio today, honey. You got to let God know for every mountain, yeah. for every mountain, you brought me through. Every valley, hey. you brought me over. See? Whoa. Do it. He'll do it, honey. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is God good. God, take that sneeze away. Ooh, take it away. Hot shoe. <laughs> then we turn the cameras off. But on my YouTube page, we are still live, and you all need to hear the conversations that are taking place while we <laughs> are on break, honey. <laughs> OMG. Now, right now, we all have our mask on, because during the break, <laughs> she blowing her nose, <laughs> blowing her nose, sneezing, coughing, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think she pooped. <laughs> well, I hope she don't even admit that you say you might even do. Look, because uh -uh, I'm saying, because y'all was talking, y'all was looking, but I looked over there and that when she pooped, that little bag had sh like, <laughs> no, no. We all, we all got our mask. <laughs> she just, she got it from my mama. Oh no, oh, let me take this out, child. But no, but you know, right here we do the birthdays. 
Thank you, Lee. And uh, my my baby, this is my baby, Portia Perry, son, and this is my daughter. She's gonna. I let her do the birthday. But you said you had a birthday. Some of your friends had a yeah, birthday yesterday. I just wanted to wish my good sister Jasmine Divine a happy birthday. She had a birthday on yesterday. I love you, sis. Don't say and do anything I wouldn't do. Mm. Stay away from them tacos. It's too late, honey. That was yesterday. You should have told her that yesterday. She done did it already. <laughs> you late, honey. But I know Jasmine. Jasmine keep telling me to call her. I call her. She keep calling me. I got to get Jasmine up here. And I have to get other, the other girl. What's her name? Savon. Savon. I got to get Thank Savon you. and Jasmine up here. But right now, it's birthdays. Chevelle, you know anybody celebrate a birthday today? No, but happy birthday if it's your birthday. Okay. Now, Portia's going to do the birthdays. Which is okay. Absolute complete setup, but here we go. <laughs> I always get my guests to the birthday. Oh, okay. And you have three guests and you chose me. Yeah, my daughter. Oh, okay. Actor Benjamin Bratt. It's his birthday today. I think it's, this is saying he's turned 57. Layla Hathaway, she's turned 52. R&B singer, writer Kevin Richardson, he's turned 44. Celia LaChance, she's turned 59. Oh, that's LaChance. She plays Celia on Broadway. Oh, so her name is LaChance, the lady that the young lady that plays Celia on Broadway. She won a Tony. She won a Tony Award. Mm -hmm. She also won a Tony Award for uh, Broadway before, uh, what? The Color Purple. The Color Purple. That's I it, think girl. I seen it. Huh? I think I seen it online. Oh, okay. Rappers, what? The rappers, oh, okay, we coming through for the rappers. Slat. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, 23. Plus his name. Slide. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's his name. Nice. Snap. Okay. Arsenal. Arsenal. 34. Uh -huh. G Lock. What is that? G Glock. 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 He turned 46. Jasmine Johnson. It's just got a number five by her name, so. She fine. Oh, okay. Jasmine Johnson. Who is that? That's The Rock's daughter. Okay, The Rock daughter, Jasmine. Wayne, she, the Rock Johnson. Yeah, he, she mm -hmm. turned five today. Mm -hmm. The Rock's. Oh, okay. You got with the who they are right on. So I'm sorry. I got my glasses on. Then we got Naya Lee. <laughs> Huh? She, Naya Lee from Love and Hip Hop New York. She turned 29 today. Music producer Jay Oliver, he turned 29. Mm -hmm. DJ D, D. Rick turned 51. NFL player Corey Brown, he turned 29. Is that Antrell Riley? I don't know, you read me. Okay, <laughs> he turned 38. Oh, Antrell Riley, mm -hmm. uh, Antrell Rowe. Run it is. Roll. R O L L E? Yeah. Roll. Roll. He turned 38 today. NBA player Joey Dorsey. He turned 37. Comedian JB. What? Is that Smooth. Smooth? JB Smooth? See, I thought that said JB Simone. <laughs> J Comedian J.B. Smooth turned 55. <laughs> Dominic the Diva turned 33. Rich Powell turned 39. Business executive LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James turned 39. Oh, yeah. Rick Powell. Who was that you just read? Rick Powell turned 39. But why is LeBron James not on him? He's a business executive. For LeBron James. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, if oh. I would have wrote this out, it would have said he's... LeBron James business executive, but you just wrote business executive at the top and had LeBron James laying down and I was looking for his age, but I didn't see it. Uh -huh. But that's a happy birthday to everybody today at the Sagittarius time. Yes. Oh, my grandson just had a birthday, Dion Flores, on Instagram and on Facebook. He had a birthday the other day as well. well. If, he, if he have a birthday, whatever platform he owns, it's his birthday. Okay, well, my, <laughs> well, my little cousin, but today is my little cousin's birthday. Her name is Dion. Happy birthday, Dion. I love you, Dion. She love you, Dion. And now we're going to let Tristan and Chevelle get together and sing happy birthday to the birthday people. <laughs> Come on, get on the mic. Get on the mic. She read the birthdays. Now, y'all okay. sing. Come on, do it. Do good, y'all. We're going to have to do that with Well, get close to the mic. Come on, y'all. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'll start. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? Oh, How old are you now? 
When they said, how old are you? Man. I know how old you are. <laughs> That's the record I'm going to sell. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's show them. Show them, show them Porsche. Come on, Porsche. Show them how you do it. Oh, I'm going to have to wrap mine. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, I see my CD drop Friday, and they told me I can't do nothing before my CD drop, so I, I'm just going to say happy birthday. No, I see you rapping. Come on with it. Just let myself lie. I don't care who tell it. It just want to be told. Why <laughs> don't you start coughing? And it, it, uh, baby, I can't do that. Just say it. We're supposed to throw in that little happy birthday to uh, 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 that's Stephen Wonder Woman. I rap. Y'all like that? Hold on, look. She said how she rap. I rap. <laughs> so come on, let me hear you spit. You ain't spitting. Because I, I'm not, I wasn't ready for you. You wanted to spit. <laughs> 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 not spitting. Not spitting. So come on. Come on, do, come on, do the birthday song one time. For I'm not talking about drop some bars. Come on, right. do the no, I'm going to wait because my CD dropped Friday. What's the, dive, what's the title of your CD? Wolf Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Time to go. I'm out. <laughs> you should rename that. To so what? <laughs> Sneezing, coughing, and scratching. <laughs> I'm just going to win some for your home guy. <laughs> right here on Wheel You Radio. Oh. Wheel You Radio with the home of the Urban Sound of Proud. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Ooh, girl, Portia, all I can say is, whoa, 10 o'clock, okay, so y'all still, it's sold out, or y'all still have tickets? No, we still have tickets, and you can get the tickets at the door, it's $20 at the door, and it's $5 if you want a seat, $5 extra if you want a seat. Oh, okay. And yeah, not just $5, no, I'm just, so, and if um, you want a pre-sale ticket, it's dollar sign on my cash app dollar sign OPOV 2020 and the pre-sale tickets are $15 $5 extra if you want a seat pre-sale they can still get pre-sale tickets you can get pre-sale tickets up to 9 o'clock okay now Tristan Oh, Mr. Ahead. Six Feet Eight. Here she go. They were having a big discussion off the break, honey. Oh, you know, while we were off the air about your shoe size. Could you share with the world what size shoe you wear? So I am a 17.5 in tennis shoe. Say it again, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, John. I never heard it. So oh, a 17.5 in tennis shoe and a 15 dress shoe. Plus, you, cut. Ne- you never heard of that. I've never heard of that shoe size. Basketball players. Yeah, I haven't met one of them. Oh, okay. I'm waiting for that day. But hey, you know. said basketball players. He ain't never played basketball, girl. Yes, he has. He oh, said he had not I'm telling you when he oh, played basketball. He didn't play on the court. Oh. <laughs> oh. He played in the parking lot at Taco Bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Girl, was in that drive too? <laughs> no, he was parked far away from the restaurant. <laughs> But yes. they was going in about your shoe size. But you know, I was telling them that you know not all men with you know big shoe sizes have big things. Well, can you tell? Them? Okay. I mean, for me, I feel like I'm average. Oh. Okay. I don't okay. claim to have you know. For the people, we have two pieces. I'm average. Girl, I'm you know, all that noise in the mic. <laughs> all that noise in the mic, girl. We hear all that. What are you doing? Taking your meds off. <laughs> 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 Boy, she gonna have to go. <laughs> Boy, Shavelle, <laughs> y'all can deal with her tonight, but she gonna get her ass out of here right now. Go ahead, girl. You got too much going on. Thank you for coming, baby. <laughs> Mama, glad to see you. <laughs> Wait. George, could you un- undo that mic and just slide it under the corner under the door? You go on the other side of the door. <laughs> oh. She put her own daughter out the studio. Yeah, it's life and death, she feels. <laughs> you choose life. I choose life. My life over her life. 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 <laughs> but the reason I want to bring you out here, they was going in on your feet, honey. They just, oh, that sparked the whole conversation. She feels <laughs> say, now everybody don't have uh, big feet. Everybody don't have big feet, don't have no, uh, they're not well endowed. Uh-huh. But then Chevelle and Porsche, what you saying? I, 
Chevelle said everybody that have big noses and big feet don't I, that's not true and I said that no one with a big nose and big feet have disappointed me yet oh, okay. that's what I said that's and like, then she seconded she thought about it and came back with it I second the big nose part cause they can have big nose and little feet <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I said big nose okay. and big feet. So nobody with big nose and big feet has disappointed you yet? Not yet. Who was the last person you had with a big nose and big feet? <laughs> you you know his name? I just want to know his name. You don't want to say his name, but you remember who it was? That's the nigga that got your coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Go back through your text messages. Oh, yeah, you need to do some tracing. Do they start to? Oh Lord. But no, but I really wanted because like when I heard that they were in town, Chevelle and Portia, I really wanted them up here because I want everybody to know we all started out together. We all started out together, and to everybody that's talking about getting into this drag thing and this entertainment, and when it comes to the gay community. We started out together and we were just the nobodies. We were just mm -hmm. the kids going to the club. And a friend of ours started doing a birthday celebration. Well, he started doing, what was it? New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block. And Randy Rochelle doing New Kids on the Block. And if you follow her, you'll know that she started all our careers. Mine, Chevelle's, uh, Porsche's, Tommy's, Soccer Simone, Cookie the Cook. She started it. <laughs> And y'all would think Randy was 90 years old by now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just want to let everybody know that we all started out together. So just tell everybody how it was in the beginning. Uh, go on for Chevelle Washington. Y'all was horrible. Because <laughs> you said that we started out together. You was already out there. Baby, yeah. Girl, up. did she say, did she say we all started out together? Girl, I started out together. I'm, out together. I'm looking over like, no, we did <laughs> we was babies and y'all was already out. I was, I was 15 doing, years. What? I wasn't doing shows and stuff. I was 15. We did a page together. Yeah, that was late. That was that, yeah. No, it wasn't but, late. I was, but I I was 16. But I went out there doing shows and stuff like that. I started off doing pages. I, went, I didn't do no talent nights. No, you did not. You did not do talent nights. No, you did, did pages mm -hmm. and uh, you did shows. And what a lot of people don't know that how um, I learned how to like what we call disco dance. I learned from Sophia because we used to, she, when we would come to the club, she would pull me out on the dance floor with her just on a regular club night and dance and, and I would mimic. Out. Yeah, and I would mimic what she do. <laughs> yeah, oh, spin my baby. Oh, spin out <laughs> So, um, that's how I learned how to, um, dance and stuff and then taking stuff from Amber Star and other people that I seen and that's how I got Chevelle's style of dancing. But it was uh it wasn't no easy road for us either child. We was uh talent night girls. We would travel around in the city doing talent nights. We won't win, I would get mad. <laughs> Portia go back, I won't, no ma'am, until y'all book me because I know I'm good. And Portia had a, she had a, a rival on her, and it was just like Portia was new in the game, and Portia was serious about it. And she came to the t when Portia hit that stage, trying to she she had been at home practicing. And baby, okay. I'm telling you, she had hit that stage, and baby, it was not like she was a new call. It was just like, oh, she been watching us, she been studying, she been at home practice, she been waiting on this opportunity to let us have it at Talent Night. And you and Saka Simone. And they started letting me have it. Baby, yes, Saka they did. Simone, baby, Saka Simone wanted to hook you every chance she got. Saka, PK. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> and she used to wear them um, blazers with the shoulder pads. <laughs> Girl, like she was on Dynasty. Like Mickey Thong. Girl, they, Mickey they, they was this big. Let me make your leg. This big. She wanted them your shoulders and head. <laughs> <laughs> It was so funny that she wanted to tap me because she was one of the ones I looked up to. Her, Tommy Rouse, it was a few of them. That I, I saw something in all of them that I really liked. But Pasaka had just got out of jail. You know how she would go back and forth, you know? Mm -hmm. we, she passed it on to me, but we went back and forth. <laughs> but when we would go and come home, it's not like we had to wait to get a spot on the show. They immediately put us back on the show because right. people like to see us. Yeah. But this particular Sunday, I'm sitting out there, I'm excited. She's back. Oh, I can't wait to see her. Baby, if I tell you, Miss PK had went in the back room and told her that when she done beat Angel B, I said she done like D Angel D. <laughs> so, this, that's, now this is what's going on backstage. 
So I'm on the opposite side of the curtain waiting to see her come out there. But if I tell you, Miss Sucker had came out there, and them old school girls back then, it was just, they would let you know it's your, I'm fist to pop. She had looked over at me, at me at the beginning of her song, and I'm smiling, but it was this look in her face that gave me, girl. And also she had a lip ball turned up. turned all the way up. And baby, she had kicks, swoops, came down there, she hit me right upside my head. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> I'm talking about Austin up there and... But she hit me right upside my head. What the... Derek Miles, Chanel Nicole, all of them jumped up and ran over there to, to me mm -hmm. and was like, what is going on? Like, nah, that business is there. But I just remember her popping me in my head. <sighs> but baby, she said... You I went up to a six She went to jail and all that. She did She pass it on again, you say? Because I started hustling. I doing shows and pages but then I started going back and forth to jail mm. and when I would leave and come back they would immediately put me back on, on the showcase right. but could you please <laughs> could you please share with us the story will you will you spend the night in the tree <laughs> See, that's what she get for being on that line all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she get. Oh, yeah. She shared that. She shared that. She be sharing that when she uh, doing her makeup, get ready. That's, that's what I said. Like that's what she get. <laughs> like a berry. Girl, girl, it's funny now. It's funny now, but back then it wasn't funny. <laughs> Which one, which one? I didn't hear them trees and cars in Dallas, in Dallas, at North Park Mall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, somebody else that took me on that way, well, a lot of people took me on that ways in all different type of directions, but this particular person was Lightnail Brooks. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was long time ago. Yeah. That he was, I was getting ready for some pageant, and I'm thinking, Come on, let's go to the gala. We had came to Dallas, and he told me, let's go to the mall. So I went with him. But I'm thinking at the moment that I'm not thinking that this is what he was supposed to do. I'm thinking he was to actually like take me and buy me a dress and get me ready for the pager. Hold on, girl. Should be a call for me. I knew you were going to say something, y'all. Go ahead. He took me in the store. You like this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Girl, he had took that dress and when I accidentally left it and just took it and rolled this dress up and stuck it inside of my jacket and pushed me through the opposite door because the, the, that store Tootsie's was connected to like a restaurant or a hotel or something um, and he pushed the jacket, the guy in me and pushed me out the door. Um. <laughs> So here we go, leave like the story, baby. That was not playing that Tussis, you hear me? It was one of these miles here, wherever Tussis is, I don't know if it was a gallery or what. And all we heard was sirens and police officers. <laughs> and then I had ran and uh, got up under this car. <laughs> <laughs> right. I had ran and hit up under this car, scared to death. Do you hear me? Oh. I had police sirens, helicopters, everything. <laughs> that was that guy. <laughs> But they did, they really did. So I ran, got up in a tree, <laughs> got up in a tree, and you know, ain't no cell phones or nothing. So I'm just out here, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm 16, 17 years old, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm hiding in the tree and just sitting there waiting. <laughs> Who are you waiting on? I don't know. <laughs> I just knew whatever them sideways was coming, the police officers was coming, I didn't want them to find me. I had to run from the gallery to a neighborhood in the back of somewhere. I don't know where I was. So in that tree, I got out the tree because I had to go find the, so they wouldn't leave me. So I took the evening out and went and threw it over somebody's back porch. Somebody got a guy on. Oh no, we went back and got this. <laughs> <laughs> I put the evening down on somebody's porch. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so I went walking back to so because the police come and grab me, I wouldn't have nothing on me. You know, so I went up and I seen my nail them and they was coming. And I was like, oh, the dress is in, them, uh, in this apartment. I, I took it off of me and put it in this uh, patio. But girl, I had no idea that that's what he was supposed to do. Mm. Girl, we thought that was a What dress was the girl? They bought Mackie that horse shirt. The horse shirt, the black and gold. The black and gold. I never struggle. knew the story behind it, but I knew that you stole the dress. I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. I, I knew that. I was 16.
Girl, she took that dress, wrapped it up. That dress that got a couple of pants. Hold on, hold on. She said she didn't steal it. He took the dress and he grabbed it. Rolled it and put it in her hand. That made she thought he was he was an accessory. I didn't go. I was the accessory, but if they would have got me, you have it on. You have it on your purse. I didn't take it off the rack. I didn't put it in your coat. I didn't do none of that. That's what the bag said too. I didn't take it back. I should deny it. No, no, what? I wore the tap them girls to death in it. <laughs> I mean, we can really go take a break, honey. Huh? We just talked through this whole hour, honey. Have we? Yeah, y'all not going away. Y'all gonna stay here, honey. Girl, we got a show to do, baby. I know, it's not that tears. I'm just gonna be sitting here holding it down. Ready, <laughs> home. We are you ready, home. We are you ready, home. We are the home of the urban side of the side. Come on, over there. Yeah. That should be right behind you. Yeah, Mike's still on. She you know what? My plug for my phone. Uh, yeah, girl, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Push. We got you. We got you to tell your story. I got a story I want Chevelle to tell next. I don't have any. Yes, oh, you have one. Oh, 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 she got a mouth full of that either. Girl, you just can't get it right. <laughs> she not coughing, she not sneezing, she not blowing the nose, now she over there chewing. Yeah, it's work, she can. But Chevelle, you're in town tonight. You all are here to do your show, Our Point of View. Yes. Tell everybody about it. We are at Club Mix tonight at 10 p.m. with Our Point of View. It is an online talk show, but we're doing it live tonight, and it is the season finale. And we have pre-sale tickets on Cash App, dollar sign, OPOV 2020 for $15. If you want a seat, it's an extra $5, $20 at the door. We talk about hot topics and all kind of jish and um Gossip and everything. So mm-hmm. come out and um, see some entertainment. Uh, me, Portia Paris, Neil Dupree, Tevin St. James, I guess will be Trent Simmons, and the lady Tajia Munn, hosted by Ava Chanel Alexander. Mm-hmm. And we got some performances too. Yeah, she called me. She called me. Well, you know, I love. thought you had. Um, Originally, I thought you had a sort of drag, drag for cash. Yeah, yeah, so. I do have drag for cash. That's why I. But I, I, I canceled it because you were coming to town. I said I'm gonna go over there with y'all. Oh, you did. Yeah. That's why you ain't telling me nothing? Ain't nobody told me nothing. No, you ain't coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, sister. Yeah, girl, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I already know. But listen, mm-hmm. your mama. Yes. Then took the world by storm with Jush. Yes. Jasmine Master was here uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Monday. Monday. Jasmine Master was here. She was talking about how you all already got. Baby, we are. Anybody trying to use. We already got the paperwork oh, on. Oh, it. yes, Lord. But your mama is doing. She said, honey. She waiting on her check from Oprah. From, uh, no, Oprah Ellen. gave her nothing. She waiting on the check from Ellen, though. <laughs> Oprah just wanted her time. <laughs> Hello. That's all she needed, honey. Yeah. That was a good look. Now, I'm telling you, Oprah is a person that can give you some uh, exposure. Mm-hmm. Everybody else calling and talk about exposure. Nah, nigga, I need my money. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is the Chevelle Brooks, because I tell this all the time, but people don't, including that one right there, they don't believe me. This is the Chevelle Brooks that taught me that ranch dressing <laughs> go on every time. <laughs> I went to Jack in the Box one night. Cause you know after the club we were leaving, we were going to IHOP or the House of Pies. After the club, we go to, uh, to Jack peso, Box. Two pesos was it? Then uh-huh. they two pesos. We start going to Jack in the Box. So I was at Jack in the Box drive through one. Uh, yeah, Miss Baker's. I was at Jack in the Box drive through one night, and I was talking to Chevelle, and I had got my order. She said, "Girl, get you some ranch dress." I said, "Girl, you know, cause usually I get ranch dress, and I only get that when I get the taco." She said, "Girl," I said, "I ain't get no taco." She said, "No, girl, get the ranch dressing." <laughs> Gave me some ranch dressing. She said, you get a lot of it, girl, because they go with, put it for your fries, get it for your fries, and get it for your burger. <laughs> okay. You, you sure it's ranch and not buttermilk? Cause she it, want it's the buttermilk ranch. ranch. Okay. Yeah. Because that's who taught me about the buttermilk with the stuff, too, from Jack and Bob. Yeah. All right, little snot. All right, little snot. <laughs> <laughs> So, I went and I got there, and I'm telling you, ever since then, I've been going to Jack in the Box, and I, not only Jack in the Box, when I go to Waterbury, give, <laughs> give me some ranch dressing and ranch. You ain't getting no nuggets. So give me some ranch give for me my fries and my, my breakfast. Uh-huh. Anyway, I go, honey, I have to get some ranch. Go to Fudd Ruffin, honey. 
Ranch. Sophia used to come through that drive through all the time. I think I was probably like 16 years old. I was still in school. And this was before, um, like, when I first started coming to the club. So I was like, ooh, Sophia coming through my drive through I used to give her all uh, the little cakes. Remember the little uh, brownie cake? Yeah. I used to give her them, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Y'all get ready to get out of here. Y'all get ready to get out of here. Y'all gonna stick around for the next break, the last break. Y'all gotta go. Y'all wanna I go. Gotta go, girl. Gotta go. I gotta go, girl. I gotta go. I got a show to do, baby. Yeah, but you gotta tell us your story. Come on, Portia. What story does she have to tell oh, her? Oh, Lord. I'm trying to remember. Wasn't that car, that window busted out in that car? Girl, I had, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, the window wasn't busted. Something I was, had a, so, wait a minute. And so the story behind the car and how I actually got the car, I had a car accident with Sophia. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's how I ended up getting the car. So I bought a Buick and her name was Kim. We called her Kim. She was a burgundy Buick. She didn't have no radio and she had no uh, heater and she didn't have no air conditioning and baby we would get in that car and drive with my superman blanket that I grew up with <laughs> we would go on bookings all around Texas driving me and Portia me and my daughter me and Leah Halston whoever come on get in there and we had a boom box in the middle <laughs> baby we had a blanket squad <laughs> I'm driving with the blanket <laughs> I'm trying to stay warm Oh, man. Baby, if I tell you the sacrifices we have made, and Paula was getting paid but $100 to go down here and do these numbers. <laughs> Girl, driving to Dallas and everywhere, but we made sacrifices and yeah. look at us now. And what, back then, what year was that? This was probably like in 90, 90, 94, 92, 92. Yeah, something like that. And like how much you getting paid? Good. Oh, child, that was to just... Travel out of time. To travel out of town. To travel out of town. That was like $100. And so girls today are still getting like 75 and $50. They think they're making some money doing To go show. out of town? They, girl, girl look at to do a show, period. Even if you're at home, I would do, you should be doing a show for no $50, no $75. Baby, if I tell you they, they were still, they still, still do the cookie and cook and roll that little 50 up and hand it to you <laughs> with their two you. fingers on it. But you know, they, they tell still, you thank you very much. Thank you. They're still blaming it on the pandemic to the crowd get back to where it used to be and then that's when the money gonna go back up and stuff they still blaming it on it was night we was at home and y'all was doing talent night honey y'all was getting $100 for the run of 75 and 50 I remember when talent nights was giving $200 what, uh, and right now I think Kennedy's um, talent night give like $200 mm. Mr. Six Feet Eight get on on that mic honey here she go Yes, honey, we're going to hang around because you're going to be here till the last break, mm -hmm. so we're going to hold this time. So anything you want to say to these girls because you've been following them on YouTube and yes. Instagram and stuff? I mean, I just want to say that I'm inspired by, you know, both of you all because I've watched you all just for the last 10 years, and it's just amazing to see it all come full circle and see you all in person, and I just, you know, want to encourage all trans women to continue doing their thing and, you know, just continue, you. <laughs> continue, <laughs> being, continue you being yourselves and hustling that's what it's all about we will thank you and if you ever want to come for never mind i was about to say you want to come for a taco oh <laughs> what's with this taco what is the taco i had already told y'all it's what, not the taco what, what, it's, what, the, what, it's the parking lot what's what what white what, girl what because that's a sister <laughs> yeah rainbow fish that, that's a sister over there so he, she can't come for the taco what's with the taco I mean, so you know, I was in I was in the parking lot one night and some accidents occurred, you know. Somebody accidentally fell in my lap and you know, it was a situation and things. But it was it was a two for one special, you know, a little tequila got too much in our systems and things kinda got out of hand and you know In the parking lot? In the parking lot. In oh, the wow. Mexican restaurant, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at least about, oh, wow. I hope yeah, that yeah. nobody have no tacos or no ranchero beans or none of that in that parking lot. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, if you do... Mixed with tequila. If you do, I'm just saying, <laughs> if you do have all of that, please give yourself a couple of days <laughs> and make sure your board is clear. <laughs> but I love somebody. Portia, hmm? you ever had... Where's the strangest place you done had? <laughs> You mean six? <laughs> six? Yeah. I'm not going to even tell you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Tell me how they can keep in contact with you, girl. Oh. <laughs> she was ready. I don't say to say it because you probably remember, but I know you do. <laughs> um, on Instagram, I'm Portia, like the car, P-O-R-S-C-H-E, the number one in Paris, P-A-R-I-S. Facebook is just Portia Paris. 
Chevelle, how to keep in contact with you? All my handles are Chevelle Brooks on Instagram, Facebook, and um, you can find me on YouTube at Chevelle Brooks seventy five with my panel on our point of view, and also follow our page, our point of view, and um, all that kind of jazz. Uh, I hope don't nobody be out tonight because you know it's the reunion. Mm-hmm. So I hope they be out tonight. No, I mean I'm not talking about the people. I want the people to be there. But when we speak on reunions, I mean it's we're going back on topics that's been talked about the whole entire time. What if some of the people that you didn't walk out and read and tore down be at the club waiting on us tonight? What they gonna be waiting on us for? They put their own business out in the street. But we must definitely put it out there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Pay at the door. <laughs> Pay at the door. We will see them tonight at Club Mix at 10 p.m. for our point of view. Get okay. your judge. Yes, Wait, of course. Now, you, now I, think, I don't think you get what she's saying. I see what she's saying. No, I think she's saying, you start all that shit. So she, <laughs> <laughs> she, she not going to be out here. She not going to be out here. Oh, she not, she not, but you know what? And she's talking about one of them. Oh. But my sister, she don't mind calling the police, so we good. Oh, no. yeah. My baby's sick. <laughs> I will have her call all on them people. <laughs> Girl, so when they start coming, you just come out of nowhere sneezing and coughing and pooping. Oh, no. They want to be the ass for coughing on the <laughs> you, don't, you don't see that on World Star. <laughs> this man went up to this guy and sprayed some water on the back of this man. He said, her chew. But he sprayed a water bottle. He got beat up. He got straight out of his That dude's I mean, I with him, baby. <laughs> Told him up in that stone. Oh, so go ahead. Now we're going to let y'all get out of here. But Thank you for having us, Sophia. Thank you for having us. Welcome. I love y'all. We love, we love you, too. too. Shout out to Sidewell Furniture and Home um, Furnishing, my son, Sidewell Furniture. Okay. Shout out to the Southwest Side of Houston, Texas. <laughs> Shout out furniture and home um, furnishing is um, a sponsor for our point of view tonight, so I wanted to give him a shout out. Okay, the strangest place you ever had sex, Chevelle. You didn't let her answer, so I'm going to ask her. She's going to answer. Uh, are you being serious? Yeah, right now? the strangest place. Oh my God. Mm. In a park. In a park. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was in the park. It was, yeah, it was good. It was in the park. Uh, uh, it, it, what city? <laughs> what city? What city, girl? <laughs> girl, it was in a city near you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, and it was a long, 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 Probably so. Come on, the strangest place you done had sex. Girl, the strangest place where I had sex and got bored from it. It was on suspension. <laughs> was it uptown, downtown? With that, with that male oh, stripper yeah? name. With delicious. The delicious. Girl, I wasn't no drinker. I was lightweight. And I had that game with some champagne. And I'm just, ah, ah, ah. Next thing I know. Yeah, it's just turned up. In the dressing room. <laughs> with delicious. Hey, you got ball, you got some balls on the Girl food. was suspending me for a month. Mm. Oh, he didn't like that, did he, Jim? So, uh, no, because everybody wanted delicious, but I was, hey, I had, they almost got caught doing it. Everybody wanted delicious. That's why he suspended you. He suspended you because he wanted delicious. Yes, ma'am. He was mad you got to him first. Chris what... Tristan, Mr. Six Feet Eight. Taco, uh, Your strangest taco place? Uh uh-uh, uh, that ain't the strangest. Oh Lord! That was the one that he shared. The strangest place you'd have had sex. Tristan, come on, Mr. Six Feet Eight. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> talk in the mic. Mm hmm. Here you go. Oh, I gotta think back. Oh my goodness. Uh, it was a lot of them? <laughs> it was in a movie parking lot in a 1995 Honda Accord. You love the parking lot. And, and a Honda Accord. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it cord. wasn't my Honda Accord though, it was somebody else's Honda Accord. And that's what inspired you to get you one. Yeah, I've had about seven Honda Accords. Wow. <laughs> All right, this is your girl, Miss. Thank y'all for coming in. I love y'all. I yeah, have one thing to say. You what? I have one more thing to say before I leave. What's that? My child say my children will be there, so I'll be good tonight. So if they want to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Girl, yeah, you went back to that. <laughs> you, had, you had got her nerve. Yeah. Yeah. You can't yeah. no. talk about you about yeah. doing that. Baby. Yeah. But thank y'all. I love y'all. Love you too. I'm going to miss Sophia. Hold it down right here. We are your radio. We are your radio. We're the home of the urban sound of pride. Oh, hold on. I was getting ready to go. Somebody just rolled in here. Ask Chevelle and Porsche and Tristan. What is the biggest size penis they have? Try that ain't none of your business, Jeff. I mean, I'll tell it, but. Portia. Oh, me? Oh, my.